First, let's find the key. How do we find it? Look at the key signature. How many sharps or flats we have? Now, if you look at the score, we have three sharps there. B flat, E flat, A flat. The very last one is A flat. Then to find key signature from flat, we have to go up five steps from the very last flat. Let's just count it. Instead of A flat, just come to the Y key letter name, which is A, B, C, D, E. So it's going to be E, but if we're looking at the music, there is a flat on E's too. So it's going to be E flat, key of E flat, major. Now we find first one. Let's check, is this really E flat major? If you see the first measure, there is no left hand. In second measure, we have C, G, C. So this C is the same, so just leave it out one, then it will be C. And if you're looking at the right hand, the first note is E. So the E flat is the missing note. So it's going to be C, E, G. Aha, uh -huh, it's not starting with A fl E flat major, but instead it starts with C minor, which is kind of sad and dark sound. And let's check the very last measure too. To make sure the keys, you have to check not only the beginnings, but also check the last one. Sometimes it starts with the different keys from the key signature. So we cannot tell it's 100% C minor, but we have to check the very last measure to make sure it's really C minor. Now, if you're looking at the very last one, C, G, C, the measure 34. Yes, C, G, C means the same as beginning. Do you see it? The beginning, it was also C, G, C. Double. So if we leave it out C, aha, uh -huh, that means this is a C minor. So this music is stay on C minor. Now let's start left hand this time. I write the chord names top of the music so you can recognize easy. C N means C minor. G M means G minor. And A flat means a flat major. So basically, letter after that, if there is a small letter ends, then it means minor chord. If there is nothing, no small letter M, that means just basically major chord. Basically, I will not go over every single chord because it's going to take too long. Now just let's start left hand. At the first time, it's better to block the chord. Block the chord means you just keep holding everything at the same time instead of breaking up. Now let's go left hand first. C minor. So start with the C and one, two, three, four, five, go up and double the C. And next one is G M B flat. Means G minor chord, but starts with the B flat. So start with B flat. And next note G minor will be played. So do you see at the same note? double and third measure a flat so go to a flat and you have to go fifth note up one two three four five fifth note and double the a flat and the next one is e flat but starts with g so do you see just keep holding everything come down to g bottom and top and e is here a flat minor so F C because it's coming up one two three four five and F the next measure E flat so E flat E E is the same and D D A but this time is exception instead of playing a D add an F again. So 
basically all these chords are used over and over again. Before we play a whole entire song, I want you to just practice first the part. Now I will teach you how to practice. Let's go, starting with both right hand and left hand. One, two, three. And the left hand is a C, G, C. The C minor chords, just drop it at the same time. Left hand is B flat G B and right hand is D. One, two, three, four. And then right hand is A C with finger number three. Left hand is A flat E A. And the next note is right hand B flat. Left hand is G, slide it down from here. Do you see it? Just slide it down from E flat to keep holding finger number two on E flat, slide it down. Two, three, four. And the fourth beat you play right hand, G. And next measure is F minor chord. So slide it down to F, F, C, F. And right hand is A flat. Left hand, E flat chord. So E flat, B flat, E flat again. And right hand is G. One, two, three, four. And so D, A. And next one is F sharp. So it's kind of far. So that, that's okay. Just play it D, A, D. Right hand is B and D, left hand come to G. That's up to here. Just practice up to here a couple of times by blocking it. If you block the left hand chord like this, play it like this, then you don't have to focusing on matching your left hand and right hand at the same time. Sometimes it's really hard to play left hand and right hand at the same time because beats are off, not together. You see it one at a time. Matching with right hand and left hand is kind of complicated. In this case, just block the chord and focusing on the right hand. And then left hand, because your left hand also know your positions while you're playing it. So it's both ways is good. Good to know the right hand and also good to know the left hand position. So that's the best way to practice it. And when you can play it this one well, as it is. Now let's see how it goes if we break it up. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. B flat. One, two, three, four. One, right after E flat. One, three, E, four, four. See it? And then go to the next one, D major. Left, right hand step down to D, left hand go to D again, the same D. And then this time you can play D again or actually to make sound better, we go F sharp. That making blended D major chord. But it's options. Two, three, and then same thing comes again. We repeat. Measure F minor. 
minor. Ah, that's confusing part. You have tied. Tied means you just have to keep holding instead of repeating the note. So if we go from F major again, one, two, three, left hand only. You don't play a right hand. Four, see? And the next one, left hand E flat chord, and right hand is F. Okay, tight the note, you just keep holding. Three, four, rest. And next one, C major, right hand, start with E flat, left hand comes to C major. And then, next one is right hand step up, left hand B, G. And C, left hand C minor chord. And then comes to octave here. Octave means you just play the same note double. But in this, in this part, octave is option two. If it's too hard for you, just leave it out and play top note. If you want to do just play top note. But in here, I will play active. If you can do, active is a sound much better, but it's up to you. One, one, two, three, four. And come to F and left hand is, starts with the D. Three, four. And right hand E flat, left hand C minor. Starts with the B flat. Three, four, and then come to A flat chord, right hand C. One, two, here the rhythm. You have to check. One, two, that's how it goes. One more time. One, two, three, four. And next one is a G minor chord, so play a G minor, G, G. Right hand is E flat. Two, so right after two. Two, two, that's how it comes. And three, four. And right hand is A flat, left hand is F. And then instead of F, we play the missing A here. And this is the one a little bit off from the chord. Now let's see. G major, right hand is G, but left hand is one, five, one, and then step up. Two, three, do you remember? One, five, one, two, three technique. One, five, one, and then we add it. Two, three, it's one, five, one, two, three, and then add it D. And your right hand G is here already. So play with your right hand G, B, instead of coming up to all the way left hand. But do you know why we didn't write it on treble clap? Because treble clap is already whole note. And this note is belong to the left hand side. So they wrote it with a lot of small lines and wrote it G, B. But you can just play it with the left hand to make it easy like this. And left hand going down again, G octave. Left hand now, this time, C minor chord. So C, and play the C minor chord. That's how you do. In here, I will count eighth note as one, to make it easy. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And left hand is A flat chord, so A flat. Let's go A flat chord. Right hand G, left hand A flat. G, F, B, two, one, two, three, four. So you're dropping on three. Do you know why is it three? Because I, I group it at one, two, three, four. So four A's note is two counts, right? The first to two, and last one, two, three, four A's note is another two counts. So two plus two is four. That's why it's time signature is four. So one, two, three, four, that's the first two beats. One, two, three, four, that's the second beat. So it goes one, one, two, 
three, four, one, two, three, four. That's how you're matching it. And B flat chord. Now, left hand is B flat. And it's coming F, B flat, D. So play it like this. Practice a couple of times. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Practice. And then right hand. F. One. Starts with the D. D. And next one is C minor again. So left and C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And A flat. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now the very last one, B flat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're leaving out from here to this one. Why? Because right hand is coming to D. Two. And now left hand plays a C minor chord breaking up. Right hand C2. Right? So you go up here, C with the left hand. G, C, D, E flat, G, and this time, right hand takes the C, but start with finger number two instead of one, because we have the very last note, bottom here. So C, D, and bottom note is G here, so G and E flat, dropping it. Two, three, four. The very last note, you have to keep holding the pedal, hold entire three measures without changing it and lift at the same time. I wrote it in a very simple way, but if you want to do it a little longer, just like I played in previous, then what you can do is after that, add it from the beginning, play it octave higher. as long as you like or you can just end it in here it's pretty much up to you so if you want to just play it simple and easy then just do it this way if you want it a little longer and a little nicer sound then you can add more notes and you can also change the positions from bottom to top high or if you want to go even play an octave lowers too it's your song so you just play it whatever you want it that's okay enjoy practicing if you have any question you can just ask me and I will answer your questions thank you